Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to all of you from all parts of the world. It's Sebaduka Arafat here, based from Kampala, Uganda. And today, we are going to be seeing how we can buy USDT from Binance in Uganda. How can we buy USDT on Binance in Uganda? So, we have different crypto platforms. We have the KuCoin, we have the Gate.io, we have the BitMart, the OKX, the Trust Wallet. But guess what? Binance is the best if you want to use the system of peer to peer if you want to buy usdt we have a system that we use that is called the peer to peer system so if you open your binance your binance looks like this this is the home page for binance and if you want to buy usdt simply on below my screen you see home markets trade futures and wallets you will click on wallets so under wallets we have the overview we have the spot wallet we have the funding wallet as you see the earn wallet futures margin copy trading but since we want to buy usdt you should simply click on the funding wallet this is where we buy and sell from on binance binance is the exchange with the safest and easiest peer-to-peer -peer system to anyone in any part of the world so under funding you see the word deposit withdraw and transfer so just below deposit there is a term called p2p peer-to-peer person-to-person simply if you click on this peer-to-peer -peer or person-to-person -person, you will see that on top you see p2p then on the top right you see ugx so it means that this is the currency that i'm going to use since i'm in uganda so if i was in another country i would simply click where you see ugx we have different currencies here all over the world we have the dollar we have the great british pound and many other currencies but since i'm in uganda let's see so you see i'm on the buy option because we have buy and sell but i'm going to be on buy since we are buying usdt so since you are buying on usdt simply i'll click on payment on payment i will determine which payment method am i going to use am i going to use an m10 line am i going to use airtel money am i going to use the equity bank am i going to use the standbeck bank am i going to use the cheaper cash so there are very many other options that you can use if you want to buy usdt in uganda and that will be case if you're in another country you will if for example i switch to the dollar they will show me payment methods in america if i switch to the great british pound they will show me the payment methods in the pound so simply i'll click payments and i, I click empty in mobile money because that's what i'm going to use so basically i want to buy usdt of 200 dollars so you see these are different merchants here let me first uh, leave mtn so there are different merchants that you see here that first merchant is called aimco that person is telling you that that person is selling each dollar 3830 ugandan shillings the person is having 181 usdt the limit this person starts from 20000 ugandan shillings up to 693,000 Ugandan shillings. So this basically means that if you want to buy USDT for 1 million, this person is not favorable for you because this person starts from 20,000 to 693,000. So if you want USDT for 10,000, you cannot buy because this person minimally starts from 20,000. So we have different merchants, but here where you see the express payment, this merchant with a uh, with a yellow tick this person is a verified merchant on binance if you are new on binance i recommend you to use this merchant because these people are verified and they are known by the system so after emitted mobile money i'll simply click amount amount i can be specific and i say i need 200 dollars so what i usually do is that i do an estimation that 200 dollars i multiply by 3800 the current dollar rate that is something like 760,000 ugandan shillings that's what i have to pay but it can be it can 
increase or it can reduce depending on the dollar rate as we are going to see here so here i'm going to put in 760,000 ugandan shillings what am i trying to do here i'm trying to narrow the work because you don't have to look through the different merchants be specific like you can say that i'm looking for restaurants in kampala so what i've done i've said that i'm looking for restaurants that accept the mt mobile money then I, I i checked also i said i need a restaurant having food at least for twenty thousand ugandan shillings this is what i've done here so they've displayed for me the different merchants accepting the mtn mobile money because you see from the right side the first merchant accepts mtn cheaper cash and airtel money but since i'll use mtn i'll simply click on buy on buy so if i click on buy here you see enter amount so if you know the dollars that you want i would suggest that where you see by fiat just click by crypto if you click by crypto and i say 200 dollars just below here under the select payment method here you see that i'm going to be paying this amount 765,998 thousand ugandan shillings that's what i have to pay to this merchant this is the amount that i have to pay so simply below 200 dollars i'll select select a payment method i click on m10 mobile money so then i'll proceed from the bottom i'll say that buy usdt buy usdt so simply here where you see this yellow stuff indicating some three this is the message option where you can talk with the client so with the buyer the person selling to you the usdt because you are the buyer you are buying from the seller so i can click here and i be specific because mostly these people do not accept that party payments that if a line is not in your names most especially these people do not accept this payment method so i'll i'm going to write in the number that i'm going to use and the names that it displays so i'm writing in i'm going to send using 86353207 in the names of sharif chaterekera then i send the message so when this message is seen by the merchant it's going to reflect as you are going to see the moment the merchant gives me a go ahead that you can use this payment method then i'll proceed because the merchant has terms and conditions so i suggest before you proceed any further you should always first come here and read the merchant's terms and conditions then you proceed with the payment most especially if the line is not in your names as you have seen this m10 line so here as you see this message that i've sent i'm going to send using the merchant has seen this message because that tick has been displayed so here you see that the merchant has refused i can't continue the merchant is not does not want me to use a line that is not in my name so i'll have to go back then on the upper right there is somewhere you see cancel order simply i'll say cancel order so they'll ask you for reasons simply just say i do not want to trade anymore and the very bottom you click and say i have not paid the seller then confirm cancellation so simply that's how you cancel an order so i'm going to go to the next person to see whether this person can accept can accept my third party payment so this person this is the amount that i'm going to pay seven 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 hundred and sixty six thousand ugandan shillings then i'll select a payment method and that's mtn then i'll proceed to buy usdt then i'm going to do the same thing with this person i'll first chat with this person and i say that i'm going to send using this line of mine 86 35 32 07 in the names of sharif chaterekela should i proceed 
as you have seen my messages have already been seen so this person has told you do not include any crypto related word as the reason for your payment just put the name as the reason of payment so most especially when we are verifying our national ids have our names so if you are sending for example me this binance is in my names of sabaduka arafat that are on my national id the reason when i'm sending money i should just say arafat so this person has seen my message i'm just waiting for the confirmation that can i proceed with the payment then if this person gives me a go ahead then simply i will send the money and this person also instantly will release the usdt so when you are buying usdt you have to send money in the first place and when you are selling usdt also you receive money first then you release the usdt after confirming that you have seen the money so i'm waiting for this person to give me a go ahead so that i can proceed with the payment i'm waiting for this person to give me a go ahead as you have seen the person has seen my messages if you see those ticks on the right hand side of the message yes this person has told me yes but send screenshot of payment showing the transaction id so i'm okay with this then i'll say okay then i'll say view payment details if i view the payment details here you see the phone number and the amount that you have to pay to this person so below here you see transfer to notify the seller you only have to click that after you have sent the money to the seller so i'm going to do the transaction on my mtn i have another phone here that i'm using to send the money so i'm going to send to 07811 one i'm going to send the amount will be you send the exact amount that you are seeing there that's 766,000 ugandan shillings you don't put with withdraw charges so on the reason i'll put arafat then felix tarema that is what those are the names in the line as the person has specified here then i will say send then i'll simply say transferred notify the seller after i've confirmed that i have sent the money so since this person requested me for the transaction id then i will have to take a screenshot i'll have to take a screenshot of my payment showing this seller that i have sent the money so this is what i'm going to do some network issue yes sorry for the network yes so i love to get a message that I have sent the money using so the message is here it had just delayed to to appear so i'm going to take a screenshot on this other phone of mine then i'll send it to myself i'll send it to myself on my whatsapp so for you if you are using one phone simply take a screenshot go to your messages take a screenshot of the message that you have sent the money so i'm going to send to myself this message i'll open my whatsapp and you will see and you will see this message cause i have to submit it to the person selling to me usdt then this person also releases so i'll go to my whatsapp i get this photo Hopefully you're seeing I've sent to Felix Taremwa the reason Arafat and I've sent the exact amount. So simply I'll come here through our chat. So through the chat here on the bottom left we have a plus. Then I'll click on that plus. I'll click on this middle where you see the picture. 
allow full access then simply i'll click on this showing that i sent money to felix talemoa yes so the merchant has also seen the the message so we are just waiting for for the usdt to be released so what you should do is that you should be here waiting also because if the usdt is being released you will see that your usdt is released so simply we are just waiting for the usdt to be released simply that's what we are waiting for we are waiting for the usd to be released so you can just keep refreshing here and they are showing you that 95 percent of the sellers orders have been completed in one hour and 58 minutes so you can also tell this person that i have sent and you say please release you can also write a message because this is where like you talk with with this person selling you the usdt so we are just waiting for this person to release the usdt so it depends on the person someone can easily release usdt instantly that's why i recommended you to use the people with a verified merchant though i used someone who's not verified also in case you may not see someone who's you might be looking for someone who's verified but is selling at a higher price yet there is someone who's not verified on binance but still this person is still selling at a lower price compared to the merchant so simply i'm waiting for this person to release the usdt simply this is what i'm waiting for then the usdt will be reflected in our accounts you will see that you have received so you should just be here you keep on refreshing your usdt can be released within a minute five minutes ten minutes depends on the person but all in all the us the usdt it's going to be released all in all the usdt is just going to be released very soon you have to just keep on waiting the merchant here is just confirming the details because i told him the number that i'm going to use so on his side i'm sure he's checking the line which has sent the money is looking at the message this is what the post person is looking at then after verifying that everything is okay this person will release my usdt instantly and you see here they receive quantity i have to receive 200 usdt this is what i'm going to be receiving in my account and when you receive this money this money is going to be on your funding wallet whenever you want to sell usdt and you have money on spot or futures you should transfer it to the funding wallet because it's that marketplace and if you receive usdt on funding then it's up to you to say that i'm going to take this usdt to either the spot wallet or the futures wallet because we have we have two wallets we have the spot and futures so in most cases the merchant might first call you on the line that you have used to send money so that this merchant verifies that it's you the very person in most cases the merchant will call you to see whether you are the real person who has sent money why because many people are being scammed in the courtesy of binance so they are also very 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 responsible you see now the usdt has been released deposited into your funding wallet amazing this is what we wanted so after this you simply go back to the funding wallet and if i refresh you are seeing 200 dollars simply this is how you can buy usdt on binance next time we are going to see if usdt reaches on funding how can you transfer it to spot how can you put it in the urn how can you put it in the futures how you can how can you send it to someone yes thank you very much turn off turn on the notifications please subscribe have a nice day bye bye